Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this tutorial video, we will learn how to record a sound from microphone using Simulink. So, open MATLAB. In MATLAB, open Simulink by typing the command Simulink in command window and a new window will open up. Create a new model and then save the model at any desired location. Suppose at desktop, binary name sound record. Save. Search for the audio block in search box of the Simulink library browser audio and select this from audio device. There is a built in block in Simulink which will capture the video from your default microphone or default device uh, at any sample rate specified by you. So we can change the parameters like number of channels are 2, device default, sample rate 44,100 and then everything is ok, frame size and then simply ok. Now this block is for recording the sound, we want to display it so let's select scope and simply connect them together and let's run it. Oops. Generally, if you uh, uh, connect this simple scope to the audio device, this will throw an error and this error is due to the frame size because this normal scope is designed for only displaying a single sample at a time. So we won't be able to display uh, our recorded sound uh, on the normal scope. So we'll close it. Select time scope. and select it and this is a time scope provided by the DSP toolbox uh, from Simulink library and let's run it let's say anything hello hello and this time uh, you may be wonder like it is displaying a small portion of the sound which is going to be recorded. That is due to the fact that uh, one thing its sample rate is very high 44,100 and uh, the buffer length is of 50,000 only. So it will record hardly one second of sound and then display. So one way to do that is to increase the buffer length of 5 lakh and then ok. Now let's rerun it. Now you can see uh, the display of sound is much larger, but again, uh, it has some certain limitations. Like now, it is going to be recorded for I think for up to six seconds of sound. So again, uh, uh, sometime it may be a, a useful for our application, like for recording the music video in which a sound goes up to sound frequency goes up to 20 kilohertz. Suppose uh, our application like uh, in which your sound spectrum is up to only 4 kHz like in the case of the uh, communication filters which is implemented in your mobile phones. So we can reduce the sample rate uh, to 8000 only. So we will be able to capture up to 4 kHz frequency uh, faithfully from it but that will be very good for the demonstration purpose. So let's rerun it again and uh, now we will be able to complete uh, recorded sound at the same time recorded sound on the same scope in single run and we are also able to uh, visualize it in live uh, unlike in the programming part we need to record the sound and for displaying it we need to plot the command through simulink we can just directly display the recorded sound in real time so that's good 
and now let's see how the spectrum is varying uh, uh, with the recorded sound or how much frequency components are there so we can also do the same thing in real time here too so select this go to the simulink library browser select spectrum and choose this spectrum analyzer and let's open it now let's run uh, the model again and look carefully at the this spectrum part this is showing the various frequency component present there and you whistle there is a particular one frequency sound which is dominated in the whistle that is due to the uh, tone which is generated by me if you are generating or if you are whistling uh, definitely tone will be a little bit different but uh, it will be specific of some frequency or a combination two or three frequencies. So let's run it again. So it's about 1.2 kilohertz of whistle sound which is being generated. So it's cool. Now we also want to listen the sound which is going to be recorded at the same time. We can also do that. Again, uh, search for audio. audio a u d i o and to audio device we just need to connect it here and let's run the model So you will be able to hear the same recorded sound or your it, it is a kind of playback sound from the speakers which you are speaking right now. So uh, you can listen the recorded sound at the same time as well. So that is a quite uh, disturbing to listen the same sound uh, at the same time but it is for the practical purpose only. You can do that. We can also uh, in the next video we will learn how to uh, export this uh, recorded data uh, into MATLAB, uh, MATLAB as a workspace variable and then to, in order to apply several other algorithms uh, for a speech processing algorithm on it. So I think uh, you have understood understand how to record and play sound using Simulink in real time. So that's it for this video. Thank you.